time for your commerce class and uh, we started one chapter chapter number 12 of your book controlling and in my first lecture i discussed with you the nature importance and uh, steps of controlling in my yesterday's lecture i discussed with you limitations of controlling and my today's topic is all about the mbe management by exception significance of management by exception advantages of management by exception and the relationship between the planning and controlling now first of all see the key terms delegation of authority delegation simply means when your boss divide the responsibility divide the task divide the powers among the employees so example when a group of steel workers are assigned to represent all the steel workers in the union talk this group is an example of delegation so here like suppose 100 workers available and group of 10 workers represent the 100 workers in the union meeting it is considered as delegation when a boss assign task to his employees this is an example of delegation now mbe management by exception a practice where only significant deviation from a budget or a plan are brought to the attention of management means in case of management by exception only the deviation very massive deviation brings into the notice of the higher authority now example c it may be required to notify management of those expenses that are greater than the rupees 50000 or 10% higher than expected here if your expenses more than rupees 50000 then only discuss with the higher authority with the management or if your expenses exceed the percentage set like here more than 10% your 10% higher then only discuss with the management mbe refers to the practice of bringing only those issues to the attention of the management where results substantially differ from the plan target if your result not match with your plan target then only discuss your main issues with the top management it is the policy by which management devotes its time to investigate only those situation in which actual results differ so here firstly manager investigate compare actual performance with the planned one and if deviation massive then only bring into the notice of top management this concept can be fine toned in the way that the smaller variances can be brought to the attention of lower level management yes you discuss smaller variances with the lower level management or supervisors and in case of massive variances discuss with and report to top management or senior managers who will be able to spend more time attending to and correcting these large variances so the top management in this case provide the solution how to remove this error example the mp is similar to the vital sign monitoring system in the hospital critical care units icus now here mp is related correlated with the icus in the hospitals when one of the patient vital signs goes outside the range program into the machine and alarm sounds and the staff runs to the rescue if the machine is quiet it assumes that the patient is stable and they will receive only regular staff attention so here correlated with the icus in case of uh, the person your patient is in critical condition then alarm sounds then staff rescue the patient and likewise in case of mbe in case companies if your variance your variance is smaller then at lower level you can handle very easily in case of critical condition massive variance you discuss with the top management now significance of mbe proper and timely decision making no for not to delay the decision it is required to use mbe management by exception directly contact to the top management regarding the decision and appropriate flow of action and employees activities better utilization of managers time by bringing to their attention only those condition that appear to need managerial action and easy identification of discrepancies any deviation you can find out very easily 
Now advantages of management by exception number one advantage save of time and efforts of top management. Second, better utilization of managerial talent. Third one is faster decision making. Fourth one, better delegation of authority. Fifth, effective control. And the sixth one, easy determination of responsibility. So these all are the advantages of MBE. Actually, MBE is very small topic. So here I elaborated your for your more better understanding. Now the next point here is interrelationship between the planning and controlling. Why planning based on con planning is based on controlling and controlling is based on planning. So here see the diagram students planning actions and controlling. If you plan firstly, then put the plan into action and at the last controlling. Compare your planned target with your actual performance and control. In case of deviation, two type of deviation also available, negative and positive. In case of positive deviation, no need to take corrective action. In case of negative deviation, take the corrective action. So see here one example, the actual production of unit may be 90,000 units per month as against the set standard or target of 1 lakh units of Liberty Shoes Limited. So here company target to produce at least 1 lakh units. Here actual production only 90,000. So relation, it, they are, they, they both plan and actual interdepending on each other. Why you if you are not having any standard plan, then how you compare your actual performance? So for comparison, for controlling, it is required to plan first. No controlling without planning and no planning without controlling. Relationship between the planning and controlling here. Number one point planning is prerequisite for the controlling. Okay. You can only control if you are having any plan. Plans provide the standard for controlling. Thus, without planning, controlling is blind. So, without planning, you are controlling totally blind. If standards are not set in advance, manager have nothing to control. You not set the standard. How you control your deviations? Okay. How you take corrective action? How manager control the situation? If Already manager not set any standard. Second planning is meaningless without controlling. Yes, if you are not controlling your negative points, negative result, then for next time you plan same thing and same result. It is fruitful when control is exercised. It discovers deviation and initiates corrective measures. Effectiveness of planning can be measured with the help of controlling. Now, it's time for you to note down the questions, students, of today's lecture. Discuss the importance of controlling in management. What are the conditions to be satisfied to fix standards? Explain the concept of management by exception. Next question, if you try to control everything, you may end up nothing. Comment. And last question, explain the relationship between the planning and controlling. So, plan your questions with the help of books and different internet websites. Now, students along with this school video must watch these YouTube links for more better understanding of the topics. Thank you so much students for watching this video.